turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew 13, start verse 1. Matthew 13, verse 1. I want to try to say a few words on the read a few words on the, the parable. Maybe we, I've had an enjoyable time of studying it, and uh, it's, there's a there's a great uh, a great a lot of information in these parables. If, if we can if we can just uh, get next to the Lord, let Him talk to our hearts and speak to our hearts. But in chapter 13, verse one of the book of Matthew, the same day when Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat on the whole multitude, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parable, saying, and here's, here's where we want to start our, our lesson this morning, is the parable of the sower. And we'd like to notice anyway that there's several things in this and different types of things that happen with different different things that happen here and they're they all they all consume i mean they all come together and to, for one thing and that's conditioning conditioning of the of the soul conditioning of the uh place that he's talking about the the wayside or the this stony place, it's got to have a conditioning before God's Word can do anything. And this morning, this is something that we really and truly need to think about is, is the conditioning of our souls. Amen. We, never, we never get to the place where that our soul is completely full or filled with God's Word or His blessings or whatever. Listen, we need to we need to pray that we will recondition and rework our souls to the point that we can receive more. Now this one here, notice here in verse one, behold a sower. And it's just a sower, and it don't say what what he was or if he was a a, 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 a what kind of a sower, but he was a sower that sowed seed. And this sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some fell by the wayside. Now the wayside here, and I want to I want to read a little something from uh, some of my notes in the uh, uh, in the uh, Bible here. But it says a sower went forth refers to the ancient seed sowing, planting a crop. Jesus later interprets this parable himself. The seed depicts the word of God, and thus the sower is the gospel evangelist. So the wayside, it says here, is the, is the path trampled through the field. Uh, it was packed hard, and the seed found no root. Thus the fowls uh, de de devoured the uh, the seed. So this sower, it says here that when he when he sowed, some fell by the wayside. Now I thought about this and thought about this. Why, if he was an experienced sower, did he waste his seed? Why did he Why didn't he get out in the middle of the field where it had been tilled it up and where that it had been worked up and where the where the soul, soul, the soil was loose and sold. But no, he says here that some fell by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this, is, this is the thing that happens. We have people every day that they are falling by the wayside. And we as God's people need to have, uh, have a desire to help those people, and this 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 uh, this sowing the seed here uh, is is a, a, is is uh, uh, well. I'll get it right in a minute. Let me let me look at it just a minute. I want I want to get this right before I before I say anything. Uh, and, and, and this what he uses here the 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 
Well, anyway, this so this seed that's sowing is 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 God's word. Amen. And and it's got to be placed there in a place where that it will do some good. Now, in this wayside, he said in our in our reading here, they had walked by the edge of the field. They didn't get out in the field and, and make a, a make a, a track through the middle, but they got on the edge and it packed it down hard and it packed it down hard and listen to the ordinary person that looked better for a place to sow seed than out there in the old rough field where it had been roughed up and broke up and all this. But anyway, it was not the right place. And this is this is where a lot, so many people are are are, are not understanding what about God sowing. These these people that are teaching uh, the the thing of sowing a seed uh, by the wayside are those that will say, uh, well, all you have to do is bring the child or tell the child to uh, ask the Lord to save them, and they'll save them. Listen, that's that's wrong. That, that's right. not that's not what we need to do. But here, this wayside. Uh, is a place where that there's nothing going on. The seed couldn't get no root, and listen, it was open ground for the devil. And they he uses it as the fowls, and he says, and when he sowed some seed, fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up, and some fell on stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And so we see both of these here is a lack of worked up dirt. It's a lack, it's a, and, and this word that's going out cannot, cannot find any place because of our, our, of the stony hearts, or this is what this wayside is typifying, a stony heart. And the people that hear this do not accept it. And the thing of it is, it's they grab it, but they don't accept it. And here the devil comes and snatches it away. Now I want you to notice something here uh, in in the uh, verse 19 of this chapter. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one. And this is talking, calls it a bird over here, but it's. It's the one that devours the seed. Then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside. So this person here that's, that he uses the wayside, it's a, it's a place walked down where there's no way for this, this word to develop. There's no way, there's no place for it to uh, do the person any good. And so when he rejects it because he don't understand it, the devil comes along and jerks it away from him, right. where that he'll never, uh, never have the thought in his mind again to it. And so here, here is this is the condition that that is happening to this person here this morning. Set, and then some that the some some fell upon the stony places where they had not much earth, and it's the same as the situation here. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And so the, 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 the wayside was walked from down where they just laid there, and it was open to the, to the birds. This one here was just a little bit better, and the seed had just enough to get a little dirt covered on them. And listen, when they, they sprung up, they had enough dirt there to, to make them come up. And this, this one here is, a, is, look, in verse 20, but he that receiveth seed into the stony place, in verse 20, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon, or at once, with joy receives it. And you know this morning, we, we, we understand that there is people that will grasp God's word, and they'll maybe shout all over the place, but listen, it's not true it's not they don't last any time and they they're they're anxious to get it and they think that they they want it but once they hear it it's just for a short time and it's out and gone and they're not they're not serving the lord they haven't got the word and the devil comes along and he takes it away from me he snatches it away from them and so these are these are the these are 
these are talking about the hearts of people that that needs to be preached to but the first thing listen the first thing that needs to be done is these stony places this place for the wayside this old stony place needed to be tilled it, it needed to be plowed if you would right. it needed to be conditioned it needed to be before they hear anything that people go to the Lord and pray for them, call their names in, in, in the prayer service Amen. and ask, ask that the church pray for them and, and help them to be conditioned because, <clears throat> listen, without that conditioning, without that prayer for them, without that desire to help them, listen, they may hear it and they may receive it, but it's not what they need. They need to be conditioned first in Amen. order to understand what God is trying to get towards them. And so here, again, we see another one here in, in about this this one that sprung up. Uh, and notice, and, 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 and this is terrible, but he says, and when the sun was up, they were scorched. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is a little plant, and I know that you, you've seen it in, in your gardening and doing things like this, but you set a plant down and it, it don't get a deepness of, 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 of dirt in it, and the sun will bake it, and it's not got no moisture down there. It's not got no understanding down there. Like a soul needs to have that understanding, like it has to have that condition. And so it withers. Notice it says here, and, and when the sun was up, they, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And right. so this is, a, this is a picture also of a withering, person that hears the word uh, and, 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 and all at once he accepts it, but then when the sun comes up and all he gets weak and he's, he's not got the conditioning that he needs and he withers away. And that, that, is our, that is our problem with the country today. Right. And listen, these people are telling these people, hey, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, but listen, there's got to be there's got to be certain things in a person's life before that uh, the word will mean anything. It might mean a little something to them, but it won't find a lodging place. Right. Because, listen, uh, that devil is like the old birds here. He's sitting right up there in a tree watching this guy sow these seed, and just as soon as it hits that ground, he knows right where to go, and he grabs that seed. And the, and, the, and the seed is gone. So this is this is something that, that I understand and I wish I could teach it better, but we as God's people, we need conditioning Amen. each day in our life and we need to be spiritual enough to know how to help someone get conditioned mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. you know, well, we're going to go out and see so-and-so and, -so and uh, tell him about the Lord. Well, listen, that might be, that, that's a good idea. But the thing of it is, there might be something else that needs to ha be, be happening first, just like this man by the wayside. That guy, you go out there and you, you, and you teach him about the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm glad you come and, and I'll be at church Sunday and all this. Well, where's he at? He might come one Sunday and he's gone again. So there's got to be some conditioning done. Right. And here, here again, this one here of verse 7. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. And so now, who planted the thorns? Well, the, that's the devil's, that's the devil's planting here because listen, he knows what to he knows what to put in your way to keep you from uh, from uh, hearing God's word. He knows what to do in order to uh, distract you from the things. He knows these thorns could be worldly things. These mm -hmm. you know that that you got your eyes on. So he says here in the in this this one here. Notice here in verse twenty two. He tells about the thorns. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the cares of this world. Now there's the cares of this world. Now he right. calls them over here thorns. And we imagine thorn bushes, briars, and things like this. But listen, it's the cares of the world. Right. The desires to have this and to have that and 
putting God back and, and saying, I'll, I'll serve him after I get my house built. I'll serve him when I get me a, my everything with a bank full of money. I'll serve him when these things are now. But listen, he's not got that time. Right. Because you put God off. You put God off for worldly things. And listen, it just, it's not pleasing to him. Amen. And I'm not saying that it won't never happen, but the thing of it is, it's not a good policy to follow. When you, when you, when the Lord speaks to your soul, you need to put that first in your life. Amen. And, and, and the worldly things, he will give them to you as you need them. But here, he says here in verse, uh, uh, 22, he says here, and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of Riches Amen. choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. And so, even if he had the opportunity to be fruitful, uh, he he never did make it because he becomes unfruitful because all he's looking at is what the world has to offer for him, and he can't serve the Lord if he's got his mind on making that million dollars and a new home and all this. That's what he goes to bed thinking about. That's what he gets up over the morning thinking about. He doesn't have any time to study his word. He doesn't have any time to read. He's out there trying to make that million dollars and get that new home. And so worldly things here to me is the thorns that grow up around us because that's the thing that's hindering this guy here. But here is the thing that I, I'm, I, I know this for sure. But others fell on good ground. Amen. And that's, that is the hope, that is the hope of every Christian person this morning that knows about the Lord Jesus Christ and serves him and, and, and serves him. I'm talking about serves him and does not let the worldly things uh, interfere with him. That's his hope. Uh, thing that he needs to tell others about and that is the thing that that he needs to do is to get is, is that conditioning of that heart or of that person and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ and how that, that how that he uh, saved him and all this and condition that heart as to when whenever the time comes and the Lord calls him uh, he'll be saved and here it is he says here others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty-four. Now, who have an ear, what kind of an ear? A spiritual ear. Amen. A, a ear that God has given us that we can hear God's word and we can understand it and listen, we can deceive, we can we, we can spot that deceiver, we can spot one that don't believe, we can spot one that will lie to you. Listen, the Holy Spirit will speak to your hearts and say, hey, and I'm telling you, I don't doubt it. Mm -hmm. I've seen it too many times Amen. without people that I thought was all right. But listen, you come to find out sometimes to listen to this Holy Spirit. And that's the one that will tell you about people that will deceive you because he's dwelling in the earth and he is the one that that, that the Lord sends messages to, to you to let you know what's going on. And he says here, who hath an ear to hear, let him hear. Amen. And this morning, if there be one here this morning that's not saved, listen, you need to hear. You need to, you need to uh, consider this. You need, to, you need to ask the Lord to help you to be conditioned to where that he can speak to your soul and where that you can hear it and understand it. Because there's got to, be, and I can say, it, it's got to be a condition done there. And so he said here, and his, not, not us, and his disciples came unto him and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parable? Why are you talking like this in parable? They didn't understand it. Notice, because it is given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that which he hath. Now, I, I want you to remember this. 
uh, in, in Luke's uh, gospel in 19, and you know this, you know where I'm going to, but Luke 19, I want you to hear this. In verse uh, 19 and verse 15, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom. Now this is when Jesus had left this earth. And, uh, and, and it came to pass that when he was returning, having received the kingdom, then he commanded his servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, thy, Lord, thy pound has gained ten pounds. He said unto him, Well, good, well, thou good servant, because I have been faithful in a very few little, uh, a very little, have you the authority over ten cities? Now, these things, these things that we're we're ha here is. I wanted to read that because listen, listen. For whosoever hath to him, and that's not only money, but that's also spiritual understanding. Amen. That's the ability to to witness to people. That's the ability to help condition them to where that they might uh, hear the word of God and understand it. But he said here, and he, he and, and you know this because the, the second one came saying, Lord, thy pound has gained five pounds. And so he, uh, and then the other one, the, the third one, which ha which I have kept laid up in a napkin, uh, verse 20, and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. He did not do anything for him. Right. He, didn't, he didn't try to serve him. He just, he was afraid of him. And he, and listen, we supposed to be afraid of the Lord. But listen, there's supposed to be a love there that will override that fear to people. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to say, uh, for, be afraid all the time, saying, I'm afraid to ask God for anything, or I'm afraid to do this, or I'm afraid of that, because he's going to chastise me. Listen, he chastises, but listen, when, when we... When we fear him, when we deadly fear him, listen, there's something else that's going on too. And we need to get straight with him because there's not, there's that love casteth out all, all fear. And, and we don't need to have the, I, I don't know we need to have the fear of the Lord. But listen, we don't need to fear him all the time either. And we need to love him and to serve him and to be good servants to him. Amen. And realize that he is our father and he will chastise but he will also just love us to death amen and so here this this third this third one says here he says the third one came to him and says for i feared thee because thou art an ostrich man thou takest up and thou layest and that thou layest not down and reapest that thou did not sow and he said unto him out of thy own mouth will i judge thee thou wicked servant because right. listen, he did not use he did not use what God gave him. Right. And that's the same way with us this morning. We need to use what God given us. And if 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 it's if it's nothing else than just being a witness for up to 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 others for him or heaven in any way, if we have that ability, if we have that ability, if he's given us that. Listen, and I feel like the, that I'm the poorest of poor trying to teach a Sunday school lesson. I'll tell you that. But the thing of it is, I said, Lord, I'll do what I can do, and I'll say what Amen. I can say, and I'll read what I can read, because what I read I know is true. But listen, we as God's people need to uh, serve the Lord, and we need to understand that, that He is our, our Savior and our Father, and we're we're not to not to get get out of his will. So here, back in our lesson in verse uh, thirteen, now therefore speak out of them in parable, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing, ye shall see, and shall not perceive. And this is the reason why he's telling them, this is the reason why I spoke to them in parable, to fulfill the scripture. Amen. And listen, there's so many things in here that we, we don't understand why it was happening and all this. And if you get to doing enough study, you'll find out somewhere in 
in one of the New Testament, Old Testament, there's something that happened that Jesus did this or said this or, or taught this to fulfill the scriptures. Amen. Because he came with an agenda to do everything that God told him to do. He didn't he didn't fail in their jot or jittle, the Amen. Bible says. And so here again, I want to read. I, I, I want to read this. For verily I say unto you, in verse seventeen, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. And in verse eighteen, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When he, and, and he goes on to tell this parable of, this, uh, of them, and I've not read this, but in verse twenty-three. Uh, he says about the, uh, the the good ground. But he that receiveth seed in good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it. Now listen, heareth it and understandeth it. There's a condition there. It's that condition. Which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundred, some sixty, and some thirty. So these are the, some of the things that he was trying to get across to the to the the, the apostles or the disciples of him, and to let them know why that he spoke in this parable, why he was saying it the way he was. He used it as uh, uh, some of the ways that they could understand by the wayside. They knew what that was. The sower, they knew what was. The seed, they know what was. And he used. His, their own language there to get across to them that the conditions is everything to a person to be saved. You've got to have, you need to have a, a conditioned heart. And Amen. so we, we, we see these things and uh, uh, I, I wanted to bring out some more stuff, but I want you to, I want you to, the, the, uh, uh, to hear this, the statement who hath an ear to hear goes beyond physical hearing and right. requires an inner spiritual reception of truth. This prompts the disciples to ask why he has spoken them in parable, whereas before he had used parables to illustrate his message, now they now they form the basis of the message. And so this is the, he, he told them why that he used the parable and, and, and how that uh, 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 they was to how that they was to uh, to conduct themselves in, in when they uh, try to help someone. I believe this is one of the things that they understood also. And so this this morning is what we have in our lesson. We hope that these things will stir your heart to the point that you can. Uh, uh, study some more. I had a bunch of notes here, which I don't never hardly ever use. But, but anyway, uh, this is my this is my lesson for you. Amen. Thank you all so much for listening and pray for us as we try to teach each, each Sunday. Thank y'all.